We interrupt your regularly scheduled summer travel vlogs for breaking news from Halloween Horror Nights 2023. Ooh. So, Yesterday, Universal announced all of their scare zones and haunted houses for Halloween Horror Nights 2023. So behind us in the New York area is going to be Vamp 69, Summer of Blood. And the description of this scare zone says, at a 60s music fest in small New York town, you'll jam to popular bands with fellow concert goers until Dr. Oddfellow unleashes vicious vampires on the audience. They're out for your blood. This is a cool scare zone. Uh, this is the third time they've done a scare zone like this. First couple times, one was Vamp 85, and then they've done Vamp 55. So now it's gonna be vampires with a hippie aspect. And all of the scare zones this year uh, revolve around a character named Dr. Oddfellow. Do you, is there a history to him, do you know? I think he's related to Jack the Clown, but it's been a very long time since Universal has had an icon and we'll see if this is actually an icon. Yeah, so an icon is basically like a, a character that hosts the event, and we don't know if he's gonna be an icon or not, but he's definitely related to all of these scare zones. I'm excited for Stranger Things yep. and The Last of Us. Um, they did announce Chucky and The Exorcist, but it's a new Exorcist that comes out in October by Blumhouse, so we'll see how scary that is. In the Central Park area, you'll see uh, they're building the sets for a jungle scare zone. Called Jungle of Doom Expedition Horror. Says Dr. Oddfellow ventured deep into the darkest jungle, performing horrific experiments on nature. And there's some twisted port beams, so I wonder what that's going to be. I think there's going to be things sliding out at you or like jumping down at you from, from above. We're planning to be there opening night, uh, which is Labor Day weekend, so we'll see what we find out. We've spotted it. It's the first sign of Halloween Horror Nights 2023. The scaffolding. Oh, <laughs> nice. So back here, behind Men in Black, it is rumored that this will be the Dr. Oddfellow's house.
right, this is our food review of Illuminations Minion Cafe. I had the uh, Szechuan chicken noodle bowl. I had the pork sandwich on the pretzel bun. And you got the Minion tater tots. I did, I paid extra for the tots and they were fantastic. And then for dessert, I got the, I, I'm gonna have to look it up. It was the yellow cake with the, the passion fruit banana on the side. It, it was passion fruit mousse shaped like a banana. I also had the banana bread beer. Um, yeah, my noodle bowl, it had one vegetable in it. There was one snow pea. So I was expecting a few more vegetables. Uh, it was a lo mein, but the noodles were really good. They were like an udon thickness. So, um, and the seasoning on them was good. And then the chicken was just like a, a typical, like theme park rotisserie chicken. So it, it was a, a solid meal, lots of carbs. And mine was basically a bunch of fatty bacon and it was delicious. <laughs> so what would you give it out of 10? Oh, an eight. Yeah, I give mine a six out of 10, but the dessert was really good. Yes, the dessert was good. That passion fruit, delicious. So I just tried the Minions Popsicle, and it is a banana flavored popsicle, which I usually don't like banana flavored things, but it tastes more like a banana bread than that like artificial banana-y flavor. So if you like banana bread, but you don't necessarily like artificial banana flavor, I would still recommend trying it because it's really refreshing on a hot day. I would like to withdraw my Bitcoin. So we're heading into Kids Land, or what used to be the Kids Zone, and they recently announced, officially announced, that they're doing a DreamWorks Land over here. So it's very heavily under construction right now, but we're gonna go ride ET anyway. ET, go to Tickly.
feel like we were just here. We just got the Papa Nana banana popcorn, and we it, it's not on the menu, but you can get it as a refill in your souvenir popcorn bucket. It was $3.55, and then we had our pass holder discount on top of that. And it tastes like a mild kettle corn, so I'm not really getting much of the banana flavor. So it's, it's good. I like it. Let's see what type of merch they have for Halloween Horror Nights. The Exorcist. So they have t-shirts, glasses, and this red hat that says probably The Exorcist. T-shirts are thirty dollars. Oh wait, Stranger Things. Stranger Things, Vecna. How much is that shirt? Thirty-three dollars. Thirty dollars wasn't good enough. Oh it snap! It's not IP. But here it is. See you in the fog. Scream Squad. <laughs> so we already mentioned Stranger Things, The Last of Us, The Exorcist, and I think we mentioned Chucky as well. Um, those are the four IP houses this year. Um, so we already talked about those four, but the other houses are Monsters Unmasked. So this is going to be a house that features Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, The Phantom of the Opera, the Hunchback of Notre Dame and The Invisible Man, and it's um, set in the Paris catacombs. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, the next house is Dr. Oddfellow's Twisted Origins. That's the one that is rumored to be by Men in Black. You won't be able to resist going inside Dr. Oddfellow's menacing menagerie of twisted oddities, but the price for you and your friends is steep. The cost of your souls to feed his immortal power. Your soul is Ooh. mine. The next one is one that I'm really excited for. It's called Dueling Dragons. Based off of the old roller coaster. Dueling Dragons, choose thy fate. So yeah, where Hagrid's is, there used to be a roller coaster called Dueling Dragons. And it was two different roller coasters, and you would pick which track you wanted. So that's why it says, choose your fate. And it says, two warlocks of great power were turned into dragons after trying to take Merlin's spellbook. Now you and your friends are caught in their epic battle. You must choose a path and a victor. So that, I'm expecting some really cool uh, puppetry in that one, some, some dragon heads. I'm excited for that. The next one is Yeti Campground Kills. Um, they had a Yeti house, what, two, three years ago? Yeah, and it was a winter <clears throat> one. And it was cool. Um, so this one is set in the 1950s. It's a 1950s campground overrun by huge menacing yetis who rip apart anyone who gets in their way. So I think it'll be somewhat similar to the one before, uh, but we'll see how it differs. The next one is called The Darkest Deal. It says blues musician Pine Straw Spruce will have to face the music after meeting with the collector, who the collector is a previous icon, right? I, 
think so. We'll have to check on that. Um, after meeting with the collector and trading his soul for musical glory, you and your squad learn the terrible price of fame. Scream Squad. And then the last one is called Blood Moon Dark Offerings. It says, in a colonial era village, moon worshippers witness a blood moon at their fall festival. They take it as a sign to hunt down any non-followers, including you and your <gasps> Scream Squad. <gasps> Hashtag Scream so Squad. So those are all of the houses. What are you most excited for? Stranger Things. Stranger and Things. The, and The Last of Us. I'm excited for Stranger Things and The Dragons. But I think they're all, I think it's going to be a good year. Yeah, and they haven't announced that it, there's a, an icon, but all the scare zones are connected by Dr. Oddfellow. So the other scare zones, we mentioned the Vamp 69 in New York. The other scare zones are, I think we also mentioned Jungle of Doom. Yeah. Uh, there's also Dark Zodiac. Which is rumored to be in the Hollywood area. Dr. Oddfellow entered a dark dimension, Tarnished Power of the Zodiac. And then the other one is called Dr. Oddfellow's Collection of Horror. And then, lastly, there is Shipyard 32, Horrors Unhinged. So it's going to be a 1940 San Francisco shipping yard. So that'll be anything they ever do that's like ship or, yeah, like shipyard themed is always really good. So I'm excited for that one. Well, we had a great day today. Got to eat some minion stuff. We and never talked about Villain Con. Or uh, we could do it now. It was fun. There you go. It was, yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was fun. And it seems like it's a really high capacity ride. So the line said 30 minutes. It took us maybe like 10, 10. to 15. Yeah. Um, and yeah, because you just kind of stand on a conveyor belt the whole time. And they give you a... Uh, a blaster. A blaster. And you shoot things on the wall, on the screens. Kind of like the uh, Buzz Lightyear, or what's it called? No, kind of like Toy Story Mania. Yeah. In yeah, yeah, yeah. Hollywood Studios. But this time you're standing on a conveyor belt. So it was, well, it was fun. Yeah. We had a blast today. <gasps> Minion Thank blast. You. Minion blast. And now back to our regularly scheduled summer travel vlogs. <laughs>